children, how are you all? Do you know what time it is? Yes, you do. It's tick tock, it's gin o'clock. Time for a story with Monkey and me. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. Now, children, have you noticed anything different about today? I think you have. That's right, I'm not in my little shed, am I? No, I'm in my camper van. Look, I love my little camper van. And the reason why I'm in my camper van is because this weekend we are having a great British camp out in our gardens, aren't we? Yes, I know some of you are joining in and it's to raise money for the NHS. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, it's going to be such fun, children. Now, before we start the story, we're going to play a game called Hands Up. OK, so hands up those of you who are sleeping in a tent tonight. Yes, and hands up if you're sleeping in a camper van tonight. Me, I am. Hands up if you're sleeping in a caravan tonight. And hands up if you're a rich bastard and you've got a great big fuck off motorhome. We're not jealous at all. No. Now, on with our story. What do you think the theme of today's story is? Of course, it's camping. It's called We're Camping in the Garden. Oh, that sounds exciting, doesn't it? I hope you're all tucked up in your little sleeping bags. Now, here we go. I have a little camper van. Delilah is her name. I'm desperate to go out in her, but we must now abstain. I'm stuck inside the house and it's not fucking funny. I'm eating all the time and growing a bigger tummy. Oh, my little camper van, you're sitting in the drive. You're looking really sad. Without you, I can't survive. I'm fed up with this lockdown. I want to drive Delilah to the sea, to sleep underneath the stars and have a cup of tea. Boris says we must stay in so there's nowhere I can go. I'm fed up with this isolation, so this weekend I'm saying no. There's a festival of camping this weekend just for you, and I hear that you're camping out with me and Delilah too. Oh, isn't this exciting? A great British camp out, a festival of fun. Let's all cheer and shout. I'm camping in the garden so I can be with you, but I'll pop into the house when I need to use the loo. So let's all drink together even though we're apart. But please do remember, the neighbours can hear you fart. If you're sleeping in a tent, there isn't much protection. Please do remember that and don't get an erection. Noises travel very far. That's something you should know. So forget about the sex and just let the juices flow. The tent fabric is too thin. The neighbours might just listen. But if you're going to go for it, you should ask their permission. I think you should abstain, or you could just take the piss by making lots of humping noise and waving your penis. You could shock all the neighbours badly by shaking it with vigour. Remember that the torchlight makes everything look bigger. A silhouette in the darkness could look quite appealing. Your neighbour might sneak in and you could end up squealing. Oh, look, children. Look at these naughty children. What are they doing in the tents? Oh, it's a bit rude, isn't it? especially in the garden. If you're sleeping in a van or in a motorhome, you're a little more protected, they might not hear you moan. But just turn down the action, the van may rock too hard. Please try to remember that you're in your backyard. Your neighbour might feel jealous because you're having fun. And if he's listening to you, it might just make him come. Knocking on your van door, to see what's the commotion. He might just see you both entwined in all that motion. Girls, don't forget your ritual. Cleanse tone and moisturise. Keeping this ongoing, doing this is very wise. Boys, even though you're camping, you can give your willy a clean. Wash it really well until you see it gleam. Give it a good scrub. Give your bollocks a good washing. Clean your teeth as well and don't forget the flossing. Camping is such fun, but it can cause frustration. Have you ever driven far, then got to your destination? 
to find you've forgotten something that you really need. Pillows, condoms, tent pegs or a long extension lead. The tension starts the arguing. You both blame each other. You bloody stupid cow. That's it. I'm going home to mother. Oh dear. People often argue in, while they're camping, don't they, children? Yeah, especially if you forget things. Camping in the garden. You don't need to fret. You can pop back inside for things that you forget. But just forget the sex and have a little drink. Look up at the stars and have a little think about the places you will go when lockdown has all gone. And Boris says you're free to go camping just for fun. Oh, children, did you enjoy that story? I did. Shall we ask Monkey what she th he thought of the story? He, she, I haven't decided yet. I think we need to give Monkey a name. Monkey says, yes, yes, Monkey says, enjoy the weekend in your garden, drink lots of juice, have fun, but keep the noises down. <gasps> Tick tock, it's gin o'clock.